Hi grades 3, so today is Wednesday, May the 5th, and we are working on exercise 38 in your math uh, workbooks. So let's get started. So in exercise 8, we are going to convert or we are going to learn about minutes and how many minute how many minutes are there in one hour, how many minutes are there in two hours, in three all the way to 10, right? And I'm sure you already know that in one minute, there are 60 seconds, right? And in two minutes, there are 60 plus 60 seconds, right? that would give us 120 seconds. Now, if we are seeing that there are 120 seconds in two minutes, let's talk about then hours, right? We can keep going and we can keep on adding our three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, and we will continue to add 60, number of 60. So we'd have 160, then we, had, we would have two 60s, 360s, 460s, or we can simply multiply, right? So if I were to do 60, two minutes would be, I can do it two ways. I can do 60 plus 60, which would give me 120, or I can do 60. How many 60s am I using? Two, right? So I can do 60 multiplied by two, and I would do six times zero gives me zero. Six times two gives me 12. So I end up with the same number, right? But which one is easier and quicker? When we multiply, right? Because otherwise we would stay here adding up our 60s over and over again. Then we go on to three. How many minutes are there in how many minutes are there in three hours? So grades three, I am looking at hours. I know I was a minute ago, I was talking about our minutes and our seconds, because in one minute, there are 60 seconds. In two minutes, there are 60 times two, which is 120 seconds. In six, uh, in three minutes, there are how many seconds? 60 times three, right? And I would do three times zero gives me zero. Three times six gives me 18. So how many seconds? 180, right? Now let's talk about our hours and our minutes. So we know that in one hour, there are how many minutes? In one hour, There are 60 minutes, right? In two hours, there would be 60 times two minutes, right? So let's go two times zero gives me zero. Two times six gives me 12. So in two hours, how many minutes are there? 120. In three hours, I would do 60 times three, which would give me three times zero gives me zero. Three times six gives me 18, 180. In four hours, how many minutes are there? We would do 60 times four. So four times zero gives me zero. Four times six gives me 24, right? So how many minutes are there? There are 240 minutes in four hours. We can keep on going and we can keep on multiplying. Five hours equal 60 times five, which would be five times zero gives me zero. 5 times 6 gives me 30. In 5 hours, how many minutes are there? 300 minutes, 
Does that make sense? We can keep on going and we can keep on multiplying our uh, 60 to our number of hours. So if they've given us 10 hours, what would we multiply 10 with? 60, right? So we can keep on going to find that out. But for this lesson, what do we need to know? We need to know how to make our hours into minutes and our minutes, our hours into minutes. That's what we need to know. So how do we know our hours from minutes? One hour has 60 minutes. How do we find minutes in that hour? We multiply our 60 to our number of hours, right? If it's two hours, we multiply 60 to two. If they're saying how many minutes are in three hours, we multiply our 60 to three. If they're saying how many minutes are there in four hours, we need to multiply our 60 to four, right? So that's how we find out. Now let's go to our, um, let's go to our exercise 38 and let's have a look. So exercise 38 says you have to match your minutes. So they've given you your minutes and they've given you your hours and your minutes. So let's go ahead and let's see what do we need to do. So we know that in 60 hours, how many minutes do we have in 60 hours? Sorry, how many minutes do we have in, how many hours do we have in 60 minutes? Well, we have one hour. So that's what they did, one hour. Now let's go ahead and let's do this. So we know one hour equals how many minutes? 60, right? So underneath my one, I'm gonna write down 60. Underneath this one, I'm gonna go ahead and write down my 60. Again, one hour, which means 60 minutes, two hours, which means there are two 60s. So 60 times two, right? There are two hours again. So again, 60 times two. Remember, I just told you that whatever hour they've given us, we just multiply it to 60, right? Then again, we have two hours. So we go 60 times two and then we have three hours the last one so we do 60 times three now let's go ahead and let's find out where would we match our next one so we have 60 hours right oh, sorry 60 minutes so 60 and 30 minutes what would that give us so let's count 60 plus 30 so 60 70 80 90 because there's 30 minutes right so 60 minutes and we have 30 minutes each minute so want 10 minutes 20 minutes and 30 minutes right so 60 plus 30 gives us 90 so we match it to 90. let's go to 60 minutes and 35 minutes so we have 60, so here we had 60 minutes and 30 minutes that gave us 90. Now we have five minutes extra. So we have 60 minutes plus 35 minutes. 60 and 30 we know gave us 90 plus five would give us 95, right? 60, 70, 80, 90, and 95. Right, let's go ahead and see where is 95. It's right over here. So I would match it to 95 minutes. Let's go ahead and let's look at one hour and 50 minutes. We know one hour means 60 minutes, right? So 60 plus 50. So we have to count 50. So 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. So let's go and let's take it to 110 minutes all together. Then we go to two hours. Now they're asking us how many minutes are there in two hours. So remember, we had to multiply our hours to 60. How many hours are there? two hours. 
So we multiply it to 60. Let's do it. 6 times 0 gives me 0. 6 times 2, or 2 times 6 gives me 12. So how many minutes do I have in 2 hours? I have 120 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's do it to 120 minutes. Then I go ahead and I look at 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now watch this. Just right now, we did 2 hours. And we know how many minutes are there in 2 hours? We just added it to 120. Or we just joined it to 120. 2 hours means how many minutes? 120. Now we have 2 hours and 10 minutes. So if 2 hours was 120 minutes, 2 hours and 10 minutes would be 1 hour and, so sorry, 100 and, not 120, but 130 minutes, right? Because 2 hours was 120 plus 10, 130 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's join this one to write 120. Then we go to 2 hours and 15 minutes. Again, we just found out that 2 hours means how many minutes? 120 minutes. So 120 minutes plus 15 minutes. So let's count our tens. So 120, 130, 135. So we take it to 135 minutes. Then we have 3 hours and 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's multiply 3 hours to 60. So 3 times 0 gives me 0. And 3 times 6 gives me 18, right? I have 180 minutes in 3 hours. But I also have to deal with these 30 more minutes. So 180 plus 30, so 180, 190, 120, sorry, 190, 200, 210, right? So we join it to 210 minutes. So 3 hours and 30 minutes equals 210 minutes. That was your page one. Let's look at page two and let's go over it. So page two says, so you have, they've given you hours and they've given you minutes. So first one is 145 minutes. Now they've said 145 minutes and they have divided it to one hour and 45 minutes, right? So they're asking you, well, all together, how many minutes do you have? So we have one hour and 45 minutes. Now we need to first make our hours into minutes to tell them, well, how many minutes do we have all together? So we know that one hour equals how many minutes? 60 minutes, right? So go ahead and write your 60 underneath all your ones. Do not write it underneath 120 because that would be wrong. Only when it's one hour, go ahead and write 60 so you know that's how many minutes they have. So I wrote my one, I wrote underneath my one, I wrote 60 because that's telling me I have 60 minutes. Now I have to add to my 60, I'm going to add 45. Now, you can stack up your numbers like this. So you can do 60 plus 45 like this. Or if you're good at mental math and you feel comfortable, then you can just go ahead and do it that way. Okay? So let's go ahead and add our 60 because one hour equals 60 minutes, right? They want to know how many minutes do you have all together. So we have 0 plus 5 gives me 5. 6 plus 4 gives me 10. Altogether, how many minutes do I have? 
I have 105 minutes. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and let's do question um, B. Okay, so let's do question B and then you'll go ahead and do these ones on your own. Okay, so I have two hours and five minutes. Now two hours and five minutes. How many minutes are there in two hours? Well, you can go back to this page and that will tell you that two hours equals 120 minutes or to help us practice, we can do it two hours equals two times 60, right? So let's go ahead, two times 60. So two times zero gives me zero and two times six gives me 12. So two hours equals 120 minutes, right? But I also have these five minutes. So 120 plus five gives me 125. There we go, does that make sense? 125 minutes. Now grade three, again, you're going to go ahead over here. They have broken down your 85 minutes to 160 and 125. So there is 60 over here and there's 25 over here. What do you need to do? You need to, 60 minutes, what does that equal? How many hours is 60 minutes? 60 minutes equal one hour. Even though I had said, you'll go ahead and do it on your own, but I'll help you this time, okay? So 60 minutes equal one hour. So I'm gonna write them one hour, and then I have 25 minutes. So I just bring it down at one hour because 60 minutes equals one hour. Now let's go ahead and let's look at this one. And we are back to 120 minutes. Where have we seen 120 minutes before? So many times. 120 minutes equal how many hours? Two hours, right? We've done it like about four times. 120 minutes equal two hours. So go ahead, if you remembered it, that 120 minutes meant two hours, go ahead and write two. However, if you didn't remember 120 minutes, well, you can break it down. So you would have to subtract 60 out of 120 two times, and you will see that when you do it two times, it would give you two hours, right? So we know 120 minutes, because it's just right above us, two hours. And how many minutes do we have? We have 30 minutes. Okay. So there we go. So we did this part. Now all you have left is this part. So let's quickly review it. Now, one hour and five minutes. How many minutes do I have all together? I know one hour means how many minutes? 60 minutes, right? And five minutes. So 60 minutes plus five minutes. How many minutes would that be? 65 minutes, right? So we go ahead and we write down 65 minutes. Okay? You're going to do the same thing, grades three over here. We have one hour and 30 minutes. How many minutes are in one hour? We have 60 minutes, right? So you would have 60 minutes plus 30 minutes, and that would give you your minutes over here. So you would add 60 and 30. Then we go to two hours and 25 minutes. So two hours again, this is like the fifth time, right? Two hours means 120 minutes. So two hours means 120 minutes. So we have 120 minutes plus 25 minutes. So we would do, you can always stack up your numbers, 120 plus 25. You can do it this way as well, okay? Then we have three hours and 10 minutes. So three hours and 10 minutes, you can again, you can either multiply 60 times three, or we have, if you flip back to your previous page, we did it. The three hours equal how many minutes? 
180 minutes. Look at the last question. Three hour was 180 minutes. So we know it's 180 minutes plus how many minutes? 10 minutes. So you would do 180 plus 10 and see what that gives you. Okay. Now for the last one, they have given us minutes and we need to find our hours. So how are we going to do that? Well, if we have 75 minutes, in 75 minutes, how many 60s do you have? Well, in 75, we have, so here is 75. I'll move this here so that you can see. So they have given us 75 minutes, right? Our 75 is made up of 160 and 15. How many hours is this? One hour, right? And 15 minutes. So 75 minutes equal what? It would equal one hour and 15 minutes, right? Then we have 100 minutes. Let's go ahead and see what is our 100 minutes made up of. How many 60s are in a 100? Well, there is only one 60. We only see 60 once, right? There are no double 60s. So we have 100 because they've given us question B. They've given us 100 minutes and they're asking us how many hours do you have and how many minutes do you have, right? So let's go ahead. How many 60s are in 100? We will only see 160, right? So let's write down 60. If you take, if you have 100 and you subtract, you take away 60, what are you left with? Well, you're left with 40, right? How many hours is that? Well, that is 60 minutes equal one hour and 40 minutes. Does that make sense? So let's go ahead and let's fill this one in. So we have one hour. So our 100 minutes equal one hour and 40 minutes, right? Now we have our 140 minutes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Two hours equals 120 minutes, right? We know that this, because we've done it so many times, two hours was equal 120 minutes. How many minutes is that? 140, right? So let's go ahead and because of what we just learned, so we have 240, right? And we know two hours equal what? Sorry, it's 140, not 240. Two hours equals what? How many minutes? Go back and quickly look, check. Two hours equals how many minutes? Or look at this page, two hours equals? 120 minutes. So out of 140, we took away 120. How many hours is 120? We said it so many times in the video. We heard it. So two hours, right? If I have 140 and I take away 120, or let's look at this way. I have 40 and I take away 20. What am I left with? right so 20 minutes how many hours do I have 140 minutes equals 2 hours and 20 minutes 
So let's go ahead and write that down. So 140 minutes equals two hours and 20 minutes. Let's look at the last one, 225 minutes. So let's go ahead and let's look at this sheet. Now, we figured that three hours equals how many minutes? 180 minutes, right? So let's go ahead and let's do it this way. We know that there are 225 minutes. How many minutes are we going to take out? Let's take out three, uh, 180 minutes. That would give us what? That would give us three hours. So let's do subtract 180 because that gives us three hours. So five, take away zero gives me five. 12 take away 8 gives me 4. 1 take away 0. Sorry, 1 take away 1 gives me 0. I just found out my minutes and my hours. So, 1, so we have 225. We took away 180. Sorry. And 45. 180 gives us how many hours? Three hours. And we are left with 45 minutes. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's fill our last one out, which is 108. Oh, oops. No, 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 no three hours and 45 minutes, okay? So that is our exercise 38. And I hope that you were able to fill it out and I hope that you understood it well. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and I will see you next time.